either or, whatever you feel. How's it going? I'm Ben from All Shell Parish. Play rhythm guitar. Yep. Awesome. So, how are you enjoying the day here at Mayhem Festival? It's been awesome. The show, to, actually today, was one of the better shows. I think. That's good. I heard Homedale was good. That was but I'm good happy show. to hear somebody say that today was good. Yeah, it was, so. a, you know, when you do call and response in the crowd, it's goes nuts to everything you ask them to do. It's the best. Awesome. So, what are you guys currently working on now? Like, what can you share with us about any upcoming projects we might be seeing? We put out a CD uh, five days ago called This Is Where It Ends. Uh, it's our fourth CD on Nuclear Blast Records. And uh, it's been doing great, selling good, been prom promoting it on the road. It's good. So, how did, like, with touring, is it hard to like road test new material with the crowd sometimes now? No. I mean, some bands are afraid to do it, but... When we write, we, we know which parts are going to be like good for live settings, so we choose the songs based on kind of those parts. So we got a good idea of what gets the crowd going these days. So which song of yours gets the crowd going the most? Uh, of Off Our New CD, it's called... Or, well, any, actually. Uh, well, uh, uh, the go-to All Shell Parish song will always be Wage Slaves, because it has a big cowbell intro, and <laughs> it's all moshy, so, you know. On the new one, there's a song called In This Life of Pain, that has, like, a definite groove-oriented sound people awesome. get down to. So, how are the mosh pits today? Pretty Good. wild. Pretty I'm, well. I'm surprised that they can do that in the heat. You know, I don't know. Yeah, you know, I haven't moshed in like 15 years, <laughs> but every time I see it, it just blows my mind. What's, it. what's the last show that you, you moshed at? <sighs> last show I moshed at was probably Cannibal Corpse when I was 15. I'm 31 oh, wow. now. Okay. I got drunk once and moshed at Zach Wilde on accident. <laughs> you know how it goes. Yeah, that's very true. <laughs> so, what are your plans for After Mayhem Festival? Uh, going on tour with the Black Dahlia Murder in. October. Then we're heading to Australia and Europe after that. Southeast Asia. And we'll probably do a headliner after that. Nice. So are yeah. you doing any of the festivals in Australia and Europe? Uh, not not yet. Hopefully. Okay. Yeah. Because it's I all know coming they together. take that stuff seriously over there. Yeah, so. they really do. Definitely. So, um, touring-wise for you guys, how do you best pass the time on the road? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well, yeah, I guess everyone's different. Some people read, some people jerk off in porta potties. <laughs> Others are looking for girls. <laughs> I usually exercise, sleep, you know, hang out. Nothing special. So, if the music of All Shall Perish could be the soundtrack to any film, which would it be? <laughs> That's a weird question. Um, probably some sort of zombie movie or. War movie? I don't know. That's a good choice. Most yeah. people start like casting their own. <laughs> they're like, if I have this, I'm gonna have that. Tom Hanks would be in it. Yeah. A serious role. <laughs> so I, I like to look at music as a universal language that everyone can speak and understand, even if we take different messages away. What do you hope that your music speaks to listeners? Uh, I just hope that we try to give a positive message, even though we're death metal, you know. We try to get people to stand up and speak their mind on what they believe in, and it's important for them to be loud and heard instead of just sitting back and kind of just taking it. Oh, of course. Yeah. I mean, plus I think music can um, almost evoke those kind of emotions, like, can. people. So can. even if we don't understand it, or, like, a certain genre, like, they, everybody can take something away from it. Yeah, and I mean, especially if your lyrics mean something, a lot of bands, you know, just have gory lyrics that don't mean anything to anyone, you know, so I think that's just a waste. We try to really, our lyrics speak to people. Okay. So, creatively, who brings what to the table? Uh, the bassist, myself, and the other guitarists are the main songwriters. Um, our drummer and singer contribute, uh, you know, vocals. And, uh, it's all, it's a big group, mass effort to make the songs as, as best they can be. So, what's been one of your craziest playing experiences? Uh, mate, we went to uh, the Ukraine, and we, they they thought we were the Backstreet Boys. I swear to <laughs> God, we got out of the car and was like, "Oh, shit!" <laughs> trying to touch us and grab wow. us, and we had like ten security guards holding them back. It was like, "What is going on?" That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> so, do you remember the first album you purchased that that left a lasting impression on you? Yes, uh, probably Pink Floyd, Dark Side of the Moon, easily. I, was, you know, I still listen to that all the way through to this day. We saw Roger Waters, Dark Side of the Moon. Yeah, all the way through. Awesome. <laughs>
and I heard Gilmore came out and did a show with them in London. Oh, yeah, it's I like, know. Wow. <laughs> it's like they never announce that stuff, so mm -hmm. you kind of just have to time it and go, oh, oh, maybe. <laughs> it'd be cool if they all got back together and did the, the real lineup. Yeah, That'd be so awesome. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> they just know. put out that box set. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, speaking of uh, fantasy bands that we'd like to see, <laughs> is there an artist that you would like to share a stage with someday that you have? Probably Opeth. Good yeah, they're like my favorite metal, one of my favorite vocalists. Yeah, I heard they're coming to New York sometime soon to do a show, like later this fall, so cool. that should be pretty cool. <laughs> we're Cali boys, so okay. we're over there. <laughs> <laughs> so, do you um, prefer the energy of like these bigger festivals or smaller club dates? They both are pretty awesome. Uh, I think the smaller clubs, you can get, you have it's way more energy because they're right there and you can like put your guitar out and you can grab it. And, uh, but there's something to be said about being able to come in a whole big crowd and make them jump. And oh, yeah. they're both awesome. So what's it like for you when a fan comes up and says that your music's affected them in some way? It's crazy. <laughs> we have this song called "The Last Relapse," and I've had drug addicts come up to me and tell me that it saved them from oh, dying. Like, the song's not even about drugs, man. That's awesome. It's funny how people will take like, different messages. Like, like, even if that's not the intent, like, they totally read into it a different I love way. It. That's what music's all about. Definitely. So, are you guys pretty active on social media and everything? Yeah, What's we're the best all... way to keep up to date? Uh, we usually update the Facebook all the time, and that updates the Twitter, and the Twitter updates whatever, you know. So, you know, yeah, we're on that. It's a lot of fun to talk to the fans. Awesome. So that's the best way of finding you guys. You have a, like the website, the Twitter, all that we stuff. So. It's on lock. <laughs> that's I think great. we even have the Google Plus. <laughs> wow, that's the new one. Even I can't. I don't even that get it. I can't yeah. get it. Yeah. <laughs> Adding people in circles and I don't know. Fucking up Google. Yeah, I can't figure it out. <laughs> Well, I'd definitely like to thank you for taking the time out to speak with me. Anytime. Is there any final message you'd like to share with our website audience? Uh, check out the new disc, come, come out to shows, and party with the band. Awesome. Yeah. Sounds good. We will you hear that. <laughs> Get out there. Get out there. <laughs> Great. Thank Thanks you. <laughs>